Well, what would you do if you were 25 today and you had $50,000 in the bank? Would you invest it back into yourself with your education? Because that amount of money is not going to do that much like yeah. damage in the market or real estate it. or or is it and is, that, is it different if you had five hundred thousand dollars? No, it's, no. Idiots are idiots, you know. That's why you know most guys. Was it every most major league athletes are broke within six years or something? They lose everything. Sure, or a lottery winner. Yeah, because money never makes you rich. And so the thing is to invest in your life experiences, your mentors. So the story of rich dad, poor dad is choosing between two different teachers. Mm. You know, if I followed my poor dad, I'd probably be a government employee in Hawaii, you know, or a tenured teacher. Yeah. So it's it's a hard choice. You gotta choose your teachers wisely and your life experiences. Like we were talking about, I, I took, you know, three companies public through Toronto. I mean, through first through VC. Vancouver Stock Exchange, and I had to migrate to the Toronto Stock Exchange. Why did I do that? To learn learn to how, how to raise capital on public markets. Now the average entrepreneur never does that. You know, they keep opening their pizza shop and they open two pizza shops. And that's, that's about it, because mm. they're into just for the money. I wanted to learn something, so I, I took my first, um, first was an oil company in Portugal, and I took that public, and everybody told me there's no oil in Portugal, and I found out the hard way. They're right, <laughs> there's no oil there. I, that company crashed and burned like a airplane coming out of the sky, you know? And then the next thing I started a silver company in Argentina, and we struck silver, and we did very well. Yeah. And then I started a gold company in China, mm. and the Chinese took it. So, uh, <laughs> Jesus. that was a priceless experience. You know, yeah. Aren't you bitter? I go, yeah, but, that's what I did it for. You understand that? I did it for that. Mm. So you're saying people that have, let's say 50,000, 100,000, they should just go out there. Look for a teacher and, and look for experiences. So education, yeah. take risks. Real life make, experiences. Make mistakes, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Don't worry about like making 10% in the stock market, you're saying with that <laughs> no, money. No, that's a waste of time. I mean, uh, uh, it depends on you. I don't sure. need stock market to make money. I got that to raise capital, but not to make money. Mm -hmm. So there's all, all there's so much to learn. That's that's the biggest problem. So like I said, you know, the guy pushing drugs on the street, he's no different than Jeff Bezos with Amazon, just the scale. <laughs> right, one's legal, one's not. <laughs> no, right. well, one's, no, those, those guys bigger than Bezos in drugs. Mm. Trust me. Yeah, yeah. And I run into them. Do you? Oh yeah. How? Jesus. Their world's filled with those guys. So as you travel. Yeah, you just, you just bump in. My father ran for a political office. He ran for lieutenant governor, the poor dad. 